It's the end of the year and um, 2022 begins in a day or two. It is, as is traditional, a blowy day, as you can see. So what I want to do... <laughs> so what I want to do is just take a few moments to thank all of you for watching our videos throughout 2021. We wouldn't do it if you weren't watching, so thank you very much. Thank a few of the local Facebook groups who've helped us. Um, Seal Cruising UK with Daryl Walters. Um, Sail Cruising Northern Ireland with Chris Cardwell, Sail Cruising Wales with Jenny Smith's Den, and we <laughs> seem to have a slappy halyard behind me. Um, those three in principle, um, the Liverpool Sail Cruising and Sailing Group with uh, a lot of my old sailing friends in it, thank you very much for supporting us. Um, YouTube Sailing Channels with Trev Hedges and his wonderful band of moderators, they have been magnificent as well. So, those are just a few of the thank yous I wanted to get out. There are other people, but if I go on, it'll be a big list that'll go forever. So for everybody, if I haven't mentioned you, I'm sorry, but thank you very much for all the support you've given us. So with all that said, I think it's time for me to get out of the wind because I've got to finish putting the video together. So that's my task for today. And what we're going to do is have a quick look back over 2021. Nothing too long. So why are we excited, Bev? I'm going to fiddle with the windows. Um... These are our replacement ones. They're covered in um, acrylic protector stuff like this. Um, and I've got bolts and we've got caps to go in the bolts that fit in the holes and you know. Uh, so I'm going to experiment with one of our windows and see how it goes. I can hardly see that boat. It's that bad, that crazy. As I say, this is the last um, window going in and uh, that towel on top of the cupboard was seriously needed because it got rather wet, didn't it, Bev? As did my feet. <laughs> As did Bev's feet. But anyway. We're, we're, we're on board. The beast from the east is raging madly. <laughs> and... Um, just living aboard through um, a storm like this, um, we've got our cooker gimballed because um, otherwise, it, you know, the pots would be going all over. We've had to uh, get our uh, pot clamps out just so that they are working. Uh, we've got a mushroom soup in here, and um, if you want our recipe for mushroom soup, that is actually on Cook's tour. Well. In the last episode, we had some people who were a bit concerned about coming here because of the tides, rips, over falls and the weather. Honestly, there's nothing to worry about. You'll have a great time. Okay, the sailing's a bit of a challenge, but that's what it's all about. <laughs> What a big stick you have! Now, before anybody asks, why don't you do the obvious and hop into your beautiful bikini and nip underneath and swim with big flippers like a mermaid and scrape the hull underneath? This is in the Bahamas and it's not the maid. The water here isn't 25 Celsius. The water here is about 5 Celsius. If I jump over the boat to go in there, I'll get cold shock and you'll never see me again. So. It's remote methods of cleaning. I'm afraid there is going to be no jumping in, not even with a wetsuit. I'm just not doing it. End of. The joys of washing! Hey! But it's like the last little tidy ups, uh, putting things away because oh it's sunny and we're gonna go sailing ready
Oh, this is pushing against the tide then, isn't it? Yeah, because you can see it running. Why are we motor sailing when we've got force five winds? Um, again, it's more to do with apprehension. Um, we're going to be in a wind over tide situation uh, in the North Channel. So we want to get through the North Channel as quickly as possible. Oh. So you're down there doing the washing up while we're tacking up and down Cup Island side. Hey, I did most of those really tacks, girl. I know you did, but I'm just saying, the wind has come up and we're now able to tack. Mm. So why are you apprehensive, Bev? Um, we're on a mirroring with a lee shore very close behind us. Um, and there's a storm that's blowing in. That's one of these is going to come through very quickly. Uh, in three or four hours it could be calm here. All the other boats have fled the anchorage, except us. Um, the mooring is rated to 15 tonnes, which is far, far more than we are. And the sea state is moderate. It's bouncing a bit. If it doesn't get any worse, I'll be happy, but I'm concerned. I'm on a mooring ball with a leash or 100 metres behind me, so you can probably hear the engine running in the background. Uh, that's just purely precautionary. If this mooring parts, I basically run up there and push the throttle lever forward, and we just go forward and, and deal with it as we go. So it was very good coming past um, the Ilse Craig and what I thought was like a big face of granite turned out to be a giant seabird colony. I've never seen so many gannets, but I think I've finally figured out where all the gannets in this part of the world live. They live on that rock. There must have been thousands of them up there and it's certainly not a very good place to be a fish. Not with that many gannets about. I'm holding on for grim life. I've been in much worse seas than this. It is smooth or slight then? <laughs> it's not smooth or slight. <laughs> You can tell that Beverly has beaten me to it because she's having the rest now. Dear. So we're in, we're on uh, a mirroring ball that we have been loaned by one of our viewers. Absolutely. It's this is the kind of thing that really helps us to carry on is a free mooring. <laughs> and then as you pull uh, the line, it will come through and so will the line. It's Diva. It's the Liverpool Convention. Which pub? Oh right, oh, didn't, you know there, the, didn't know there was one. Yeah, the uh, one at uh, Menai Bridge. 
Well, Bard's design looks very like Menai, doesn't it? I shouldn't be surprised that we change our minds <laughs> because we're terrible um, for doing it. A lot of people were going on about um, down south and they say that at the moment it's really, really crowded. Um, so we made these sort of like, heard all these various things and we decided, you know what, why don't we go to Scotland? <laughs> Swimming. I'm gonna have a go. You may be some time. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh. Like it's just like a dinghy practice. Just fall in, oh, like gosh. the dinghy's capsized. Oh, fucking hell! It's freezing. Of course, it's freezing. You're in Scotland. Oh, do you know it's quite nice actually. Get off it. You're just being pervy. <laughs> I'm going. I'm getting there. Uh, quarter in. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! It's up to the bits. Too much info. Well, it's, a, well, it's a bitey day, isn't it? It certainly is. Um, we've got um, not loads and loads of white caps, but we've got one or two white caps um, coming down. And we should have reefed earlier because we said, oh, look, there's some white caps. <laughs> it wasn't until they actually arrived that we thought, no, let's get another. <laughs> Another reef in, whereas we should have seen the white caps and thought, let's reef. But we're getting there. Um, we're certainly getting to uh, Boylesdale, but it might be Eris. Eris, say. Eris Gay. Eris Gay. Because that's where the boat is taking us. in my mouth my, and beating like crazy because that was just the best display of dolphins we've ever had here on Salty Lass. So the day has come. Oh, it's time to pull the windlass. <sighs> okay so this is what we've got out. This is a 350 odd mil just shy of 400. So what are you doing, Beb? Well, doing all the mechanical stuff like changing the oil and checking the bearing surfaces and things, we've done all that to make a bit of difference. Hammer. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Happy days! <laughs> Uh, we've got an issue with um, our charger. And the, co the cause of this has been the fridge, hasn't it? 
yeah the fridge um, we have the fridge on constantly this unit has the capability to charge up to three devices yes and the advice is for all unused outputs join them together yes and since we have two batteries and three outputs yeah they've joined one unused one to another output and they've joined it to the starter battery not the leisures and we use the leisures much more than we use the starter so we need one output for the uh, starter and, and a double need, output and the double output for the leisure. So we're going to swap them over. So we're going to swap those over. Uh, stay up the middle. There's a boat coming toward us. So come, come, come to the boats because we pass port to port, don't we? Yeah. That's why I was asking. Yeah. I'll give them a blast. I'm not going to use this stuff. Right, go on. Okay. Apparently it's not going to be used, but um, one of the things we have in this locker is uh, these are angels um, and um, you can use those on long lines in um, harbours. I, I call them knockout horseshoes because I use them to knock people out when they're holding me back from a cup of tea. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So it's Christmas morning. What's present number one? Or shouldn't I ask? <laughs> Look at this! I mean, say, come on! <laughs> We're talking serious. I love it. <laughs> well, I hope um, you ha all had a, all had a nice uh, Christmas, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's just hope that next year, Bevy and I can go on more great adventures, and that you'll come along and join us too. <laughs>